Aberdeen are on fire at the minute at announcing transfer deals and they've announced their third summer signing so far and let's dive in to the article and we have got Esther Sokler as Aberdeen's third new recruit of the summer, a former Slovenian under-21 international Esther has signed a three-year deal with the club, joining from NK Radomje, Radom, Radomje, LJ, Radomje, 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 we're going with the Radomje. For an undisclosed fee, the 24-year-old will officially become an Aberdeen player subject to the successful completion of the UK immigration process following the award of a governing body endorsement, GBE, on Thursday. The striker is Barry Robson's second sign in as many days as the Dons boss continues to build his squad ahead of the new campaign. Esther, who started his career in NK Crisco before a spell at NK Brasis 1919, joined NK Ramadier last summer where he net 10 times in 30 games. Uh, his side at the 7th place finish. Which I guess is no bad for this guy, if we're being honest, man. With seventh place finish, it was. And uh, Barry Robson goes on to say, Esther is a striker with all the key attributes needed to be a success here, and he further strengthens our attacking options for next season. He fits the profile of, of a striker we were searching for, someone who can continue to develop in the correct environment and is another good example of our overall recruitment strategy. Looking forward, a field for players who we believe can make a positive impact here. We hope he will be as smooth as transition as Rama, Bojan and Duke since they've joined the club and we look forward to working with Esther. And that is it. It says, uh, if, you're, if you're a wee subscriber of Red TV, you'll uh, find out some more about him. But, you know, Aberdeen have made, you know, a, a good... a good few couple of moves here, especially from, like, Eastern Europe, that sort of location. And you know what, most of them have worked out. Most of them have been pretty good signs. I, I, I know I've been critical saying about Scottish teams need to look further afield, and Aberdeen have done that. So, you know, I, I don't normally dish out a lot of praise for Aberdeen, but I feel like it's a, a pretty good sign, and it's showing intent. Yesterday, they, of course, it was a club record fee for uh, Leighton Clarkson. And if I sounded like in that video that I didn't make it, that was a big deal, it did say undisclosed, and it's only coming out, Yesterday, my sources, aka the other half of Fog Football, let me know there that it was seven seven figure fee. So fair play to Aberdeen. Uh, I've said this has been needed, man. If, if, if the third place team is guaranteed European football, and and all and therefore all that money, they, they need to be spending this money, man. If anybody is ever, is any team's going to ever catch the old firm, they need to make use of this Europa money, Conference League or Europa League. They need to make use of that, man, and. You know, it's good to see Aberdeen spending over a million on some player. It is. Hope Hearts stay the same. Hope Hibs stay the same. And then eventually, once the rest of the league builds up, that's what the plan needs to be. They need the, the SFA need to come up with a plan, man, to make these clubs more sustainable rather than fucking being light years behind the English Premier League, man. It is fucking sad state of affairs. But anyway, Aberdeen have signed this guy. Um, I think it's a good signing personally. I um, mean, ten goals in thirty games. It's not like you know. It's not Henrik Larsson numbers, but I think it will do for uh, Aberdeen guys. But anyway, leave your thoughts down below. And until next time, Fog Fitbat signing out. Give me a hell yeah, damn it, Daniel.